Yo. What's up, man? Welcome back to the Big Lemons TV channel, bro. And today, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook video, man. We got we got a grind. The grind never stops, bro. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, a lot of uh, changes, transitions happening here soon. So we're just trying to grind it out and, and keep keep them coming, man, and keep going hard for the channel and for life, bro. Stay true to yourself at all times. But I'm gonna hold y'all up. We just gonna get straight into it. Um, but first, before I can clean a fish and cook a fish, I have to catch a fish. So we about to go head to a couple spots, man, and see what we can get into. Let's do it. Oh, and by the way, check out the new drippy. The new, the new, the new drippy. You know I love red. If you didn't know, well, you just weren't paying attention. And uh, my old lady went and got me this swaggy red shirt. But anyway, I'm gonna see you on the water. Look how many of them is right there. Ah, it's another bite, dude. There's one. There's one. There's one. That's a big old trout, yo. Finally caught a decent sized trout. Rainbow right there. But he's got some good, some good juice to him, man. So, I'm gonna slide this one. So on this scent, I'm running six pound test, fire line, smoke braid on an ultra light reel with size 10 salmon egg trout hook. And I'm throwing it. The Potsky Fireball Trout Salmon Eggs. Did he smack it again? Yeah, yo, that thing got hit again. Got one. It's number two. That was the lightest bite I've ever seen. That was such a light bite. I didn't even feel him really bite it. I just saw the line take off. But he choked it. This is a small trout compared to the other one. That's two. So we got enough fish to do to catch, clean, and cook. And we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna catch y'all back at the house. We're gonna do this clean and cook. What's up, y'all? We made it back to the house and we're gonna get to this clean and cook portion of the Catch, Clean, and Cook Chronicles, man. So I ended up catching two trout. Well, I think y'all saw. And one was bigger than the other. I'm gonna actually put them on the scale real quick. And I'm only gonna clean one fish in this video, but you get the idea, man. We're gonna clean it. And we're gonna cook it. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So first, I'm gonna weigh it. Let me zero this out. That's a one pound, three ounce rainbow. I knew when I caught him, it was a pound at least. It's a decent size. The first one that I already filleted, it was small. It was like seven ounces. I didn't really get that much meat off the other one. Plus, I was trying like a new method of scaling the fish and a new method of cleaning the fish. But uh, I'm about to get into this one real quick. The first thing you want to do is, this fish is kind of, he's been on ice, so he's kind of stiff, but you want to hold the face down. Or you can use, you can use pliers if you want. Whatever is easier for you to get a good grip. But you want to, this, the, the gill plate right here, come in right behind the gill plate. Some people cut the whole head off. I mean, you can if you want. And really what you wanna do is right around where the colors stop on the trout here, that's where you wanna get your blade in. And you just wanna run down, 
run down that backbone all the way to the tail now I wasted a good amount of meat but it doesn't matter now the reason I like to do it like this is because you don't have to worry about gutting the fish getting blood everywhere getting making a big old mess I mean you keep it to a minimum so same thing on the back you want to go in on the gill plate here run it down the run it down the backbone to the tail just like that now you got your two fillets they're not all the way clean yet but you got your two fillets but you keep the blood and guts inside of your trout guy some people will be like oh you're wasting meat but for this situation it's all good we're gonna get this guy out of here ideally because when you got it from the inside you're still gonna have all of the bones inside the filet me personally i don't like to have the bones inside my fish so i'd rather have the boneless filet so that's why i do it this way as well so for the skin once you get the skin started man it pretty much peels off so you could pretty much just peel it the rest of the way like that and keep most of your meat there same thing goes for this guy. Oh, also too, you definitely want to cut off those fins too. Make sure you don't have any fins. These rib plates, these shiny things right here, you want to get those out of there too. More of the story is, if the crap ever hits the fan, tap into the Big Lemons TV channel and uh, me and my family will teach you how to survive out here in uh, the world. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to eat every day, forever. You just peel it down. Boom. Now on that one, I lost some of the meat on the edges, but we're not too worried about it. Shout out to the rainbow that's going to feed our family. There you have those fillets. We're still going to put them, you know, rinse them off and get any last minute scales and little pieces of bone and whatnot out before we put them on the pan but that's what a trout looks like fresh as can be i'm gonna catch on the kitchen we're gonna cook these things up and we're gonna do a taste test so first you want to let your oil heat up i go like medium heat probably like i mean everybody's stove is different i gotta uh a prehistoric stove so but um whatever oil you got whatever oil you use I'm frying this fish because that's just how we eat our fish I've seen so many different crazy looking recipes that people just be coming up with on the internet that I'd be like whoa um so you don't have to eat yours this way but this is how we eat ours I'm just giving y'all a method on how you could possibly cook your fish Alright, so it's kind of like deep frying, you know what I'm saying? Fish fried, Louisiana and New Orleans style fish fry. People make their fish fry homemade, you know, with the flour, the eggs, the, the spices, whatever. But we just get the fish fry in the bag that you just saw, and we put our own spices on top. So that's a secret. You, now you know one of my secrets, but uh. Shout out to my old man too for putting me on this. That's good stuff. Um, you don't want to start, I don't know if any of y'all ever worked in a restaurant and did any deep frying, but you really don't want to start putting anything into your grease or your oil until it's bubbling. Like if you hit it with a drop of water and it's not crackling and it's really not hot enough. Uh, I'm, I'm into spice. I'm sure my family's gotten more into it over the years of dealing with me. You gotta spice it up, man. You don't wanna have that bland flavor. A lot of people I see, they just throw the salt and pepper in there. And that's cool. Everybody's different. But, uh, you gotta have that flavor in there, man. I'm not one of these uh, cooks that could be like, oh, a teaspoon of that and a dash of this and a tablespoon. Like, I just do it till I think it looks good. 
taste good. I do a taste test. That's how I do it. My old lady said once the color change, that's when you know you got your flavor. So remember that. That's how yeah. greatness is created. Yeah. That's how you know it's getting there. Now, um, with this, with this fish, you don't want to wash it off too, too much, man. But you, you don't, you don't want to not wash it off either. You want to do your thing with the rinsing, but you don't want to put it in here soaking wet either. We just hit it with the sauces. We like the spices around here, so we might hit it with the hot sauce. Or something. All right, y'all. Mom, the truth. So we got our trout right here that was just freshly caught, clean. And you want to do four minutes on this side. You see it. They be like, yo, why you so close? The grease gonna pop on you, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. Remember, all praise be to the most high. God is great at all times. You know what I'm saying? I bet you it's gonna taste good. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. I'm trying to get the pop in action. Hit it with the flip, real quick. A lot of times, man, when your food's done cooking, especially with fish, it'll stop bubbling and it'll start flowing. With chicken, it'll start chirping. Like, it'll start, like, crackling on the inside and bubbling on the, like, it's hard to explain, but if you know, you know. You get the picture, man. You get the point. You got the seasonings. You got the fish fry. That's what we're doing. You could bake it. You could grill it. You could do whatever you do. But this is how we do over here, man. So, I'm going to catch y'all when it's on the plate and we're ready to taste it. Charles definitely thin, but it wasn't the biggest trout. And that's not what matters. What matters is <laughs> Babe. Come here. I think it's good. Moment of truth here. Just bite it. Just eat it. Okay. I think it tastes pretty good. I mean, for a child that I just caught and just clean and just cooked on my own. All right, guys. Me and Juju are about to try. But let's see what the old lady thinks. Um, I'll let y'all know how it tastes. Actually, really good. Hey, <laughs> but that's what's up, man. The Catch Cook Clean Chronicles Volume One is in the books, man, and it was a success. So, hey, like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know down below if you want to see another one, bro. And uh, that's what it is, man. Hey, look, check it out. God is great. All praise be to the most high. At all times, stay true to yourself, bro. But catch y'all later. But without further ado, the giveaway winner is... Shout out to Fish the 614 man for winning the hundred dollar giveaway, bro. Like I said in the first giveaway, man, if you've been in the giveaway, if you were in the first giveaway or this giveaway, your name stays in any giveaways in the future, man. So stay tuned, bro. Stay true. You still eligible for any giveaway. I appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate the subscribers, bro. Like, share, comment, tell a friend, man. Cause we just gonna keep going up. And God's will, man. But you already know, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. God is great. All praise be to the most high. At all times, stay true to yourself, bro. Y'all have a good day.
blessed day and I'll catch you on the next one.